G'day, here's some uh, knobby seam material from Lightning Ridge that I've uh, experimented with and tumbled. Uh, it wasn't exactly a success um, because of the clay that was in it. I, th I don't think it would get to the point of polishing. I've, I've run it for several days with tin oxide and I'll keep getting little pits but as you can see I think part of that problem is, is there's still some clay amongst it but the pieces that are here uh, for the person that buys this and wants to do it, um, they will polish into some nice stones, I think. Anyway, I'll um, zoom in. Okay, I've zoomed in. I haven't moved the stones in relation to each other. And I'll pick up a few to show you in a minute. But basically, here we go around the board. It's the edge there. Up. You can see like that one there that's just come into view, it's got a colour bar through it. Some of it does have colours. Let's go across. And you can see like this piece in the middle has got some clay in it and I think that's what the problem was. But even still, they polish the side that has got the potch and colour and um, I think you'll end up with some nice little pendant jewellery pieces. Of course it's at the lower end of uh, the opal scale of cost. But um, Okay, like this piece here, it's um, potch and colour. Through that bit there there's a Slight hint of, of pinky pinky red, but just as a not just as a pendant, it'd still make a nice stone. There's some of this crystal sort of material amongst it with the sun flash in it. You can see it's fairly polished. This is wetted. So even a couple of pieces in here, better opal material. But um, they're all a lot bigger but I've just polished and polished and basically given up. See the colour bars. Some of them are just like that piece. It's got some hints of opal fire, but it's, it's not, a, not a gemstone. Here's, it. Here's the one with the colour bar in it. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what's in the parcel.